Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. What a beautiful Mother's Day. What a beautiful weekend here in southern Idaho with temperatures above average, lots of sunshine and almost crystal clear skies here in the Treasure Valley. As we look at our tower cam from the top of the Red Lion Hotel, you see the blue skies over Boise, just some very thin clouds up there. That may be the remnants of a contrail, uh, but sunshine and warming temperatures. We're about six degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday, and just a gorgeous day in the mountains as well. Here is Payette Lake, uh, looking out from the ramp uh, there in McCall, and just a few wispy clouds in the sky here, not the kind that will bring any precipitation and we're not expecting any precipitation for the next couple of days. In fact, our weather will be very similar to what we had today, both tomorrow and Tuesday and then change starts to come in by Wednesday and Thursday. 87 the afternoon high in Ontario might make it a degree or two warmer yet with the sun still up and a few hours before sunset and 70s in mountain locations. A beautiful day in the west central and east central mountains of Idaho. Tomorrow we may see a cloud or two early in the morning, but as you see sunshine is is the rule for the better part of the day and into the afternoon. Maybe a cloud or two popping up, but that's going to be about it. It will look a lot like today. Those winds remaining relatively light and there we see an 86 again for the afternoon high tomorrow in Boise. The 10 day forecast, a uh, bit of a different story after the next couple of days. Those temperatures start to drop as that storm system approaches and from Thursday on we're actually expecting temperatures that will be, be below average and we're expecting the possibility of some precipitation. Overall for the uh, year, starting in January and more importantly back in October when the water year begins, we're still well above average, but we have not seen any rain in the month of May just yet. And normally this time of year, we'd have about a half of an inch. So there you see the high pressure that's controlling our weather for now, and that will be the dominant force for the next couple of days. But this area of low pressure slowly creeping in our direction will change things uh, starting on Wednesday and going right into the weekend. So the high will slowly just shift off to the east and that will allow that warm air to continue up from the south as it moves around that ridge of high pressure uh, on the west side of that ridge. But the ridge slowly moves through and by Tuesday we're seeing some showers showing up along the coast. Tuesday for us will still be above average temperature wise, but then the cooler air starts to come in by Thursday. The showers with it as well and that cooler air will stick with us right through the weekend and into early next week. But in the meantime, beautiful weather again for your Monday. Bit of a breeze picking up in the afternoon, but really nothing to worry about. About our afternoon highs tomorrow will be very similar to what we saw today. So we're expecting 85 in Boise, 90 the forecast high for Vail, 89 in Ontario. Uh, with those mostly sunny skies in the central mountains a day that looks a lot like today with plenty of sunshine. You may see a cloud or two pop up in the afternoon. Winds will remain relatively light and we're expecting an afternoon high of 72 in McCall. East central mountains also a lot like today with plenty of sunshine. A few clouds in the morning but only down to 34 in Stanley. 69 the afternoon high and in the Magic Valley also a lot like today with morning lows in the 50s. Afternoon highs in the low 80s and just a bit of a breeze picking up in the afternoon. Nice day on Tuesday again. Wednesday's not bad, but the clouds will move in and then showers and cooler temperatures right through next weekend. Could even see a thunderstorm. That would be kind of fun. A little taste of summer and spring all in one week. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Steve. You bet. Well, soon the snow will be gone and summer activities will be